Ruby is a hero. She's a national search and rescue winner. She's also a dog, and her story is being made into a movie. It's just one of many true stories about canines in a brand new book called Dog Winks. Best-selling authors Louise Duard and Squire Rushnell are well known for their popular Godwink books that have brought laughter and inspiration to many. With more than one and a half million copies in print, the successful series has been the basis of several record-breaking Hallmark movies. This time, Squire and Louise share a collection of true stories about our canine friends and the blessings they bring in their latest book, Dog Winks. The first Dog Winks film, Rescued by Ruby, will premiere on Netflix next year. Please welcome back to the 700 Club our good friends Squire Rushnell and Louise Duart. It's great to have you with us, guys. Hi, Terry. Hey, great to be here. <laughs> you have had such a tremendous success with your books, the Godwink series. The expression Godwink has really become a household word. So how did Godwinks inspire the book Dogwinks? <laughs> well, we know that a Godwink is one of those little coincidences that isn't a coincidence, but comes from divine origin. Well, a Dogwink is any true Godwink story with a dog right at the center of it. So it's using another way to get people to think about Lord, the Lord, you know? <laughs> well, Pat and I both love dogs. We've both had them. You say dogs have a definite purpose in God's plan for us. Explain that. Well, I think that uh, I think that God and dog use the same three letters to be spelled together, and there are so many common traits between the two of them. Well, when you think about it, uh, God is, he loves us unconditionally, so do dogs. Yeah. God is faithful, so are dogs. Yeah. God protects us, so do dogs. And in and, and God, as we've talked about before, is no respecter of persons. You know, you can be homeless or you can be a person in a mansion, doesn't matter what religion or or color or, or anything, a dog's gonna love you no matter what. Even if you voted red or blue, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Well, Squire, earlier we mentioned your upcoming movie, Rescued by Ruby. Tell us Ruby's story quickly. Well, Ruby uh, was a seven-month-old pup at the SPCA in Rhode Island, uh, Australian Shepherd Border Collie, very smart, but very high energy. Now, Pat uh, Inman was the lady trainer who got the dogs ready for their adoption interviews. And Ruby's problem was that she had been returned five times and the lawyer started getting worried and they decided to euthanize her in two hours. Well, Pat Inman calls up and says, you can't do that. Ruby's smart. Can't you, can't you call the state police canine unit? And the manager said, you know, we, we've never been able to get them to take one of our dogs. They get these dogs that cost $15,000 bread for search and rescue. Well, can't you try, she, she says. And then she leaves in despair, not wanting to think about poor Ruby. Well, the manager did take her up on that. He called the canine unit and the commander. Now, here's the first God wink. He just had his budget cut. He had a trooper named Dan O'Neill he wanted to recruit, but now no dog. So he took a chance, he put the two together, and after a grueling six months, they became champion status. But wait, there's another amazing God wait. Two years go by, it's a cold snap in uh, Providence, freezing nights. A boy has been in the woods, lost 48 hours, canine unit sent out. Ruby takes off. Officer Dan finds Ruby at the bottom of a ravine, licking the bloodied face of a boy. He calls the other units, put him on a stretcher, take him to the hospital, and Officer Dan goes to see the parents to give them the good news. And the mother is crying, and as Officer Dan starts to leave, she calls after him. Officer, have you ever heard of a dog named Ruby? He said, ma'am, that's my partner. She cried. She said, my name is Pat Inman. I advocated for Ruby to live, but I never knew what happened. He said, ma'am, that means that the dog you saved just saved your dog's life. That 
Yes, a God wink, dog wink. Boy, I guess it is. Louise, when people <laughs> read dog winks, what, what overall message do you want readers to take away from the book? Well, you know, I think God uses every part of nature and all creatures, great and small. He'll use birds, he'll use dogs, whatever. But when our man's best friend is used in such a special way, all through the book, there's stories of miracle stories of how a dog found cancer in a woman just by sniffing, you know, they and dogs have this keen sense of smell. How a dog saved a little baby who, uh, you know, was attacked by a rattlesnake, about all kinds of things. So I think that these stories give us hope and know that God cares about us. He uses everything to touch our hearts. Mm. He really does. The book is, it's its a really entertaining read, but it's also very touching, just like the story of Ruby. It's called Dog Winks. It's available wherever books are sold, and I'm sure there are going to be some movies on a number of these dogs. Thanks, you, you two. It's great to have you with us today. three movies in here on the run, <laughs> run back. Yeah. I don't question that. <laughs> we love you. Thank you so much for being Thanks. with us Thanks, today. Mary. Bless you. Ha, <laughs> ha,